Okay, so now let us start. Um, nice to see you again. We are going to learn about from Free Science Chapter 1, Part 2. So previously, um, in the video, we learned about voluntary action. Now we want to look about involuntary action and uh, what is it about. Okay, so involuntary action. What is involuntary action? Okay, so involuntary action is something that uh, we cannot control. Okay, it happened spontaneous sponta spontaneously means you no need to think it one so it's called involuntary action for example we can see that um heartbeat correct or not you cannot control your heartbeat your heartbeat will still like boop, 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 correct or not you cannot stop it and when you are asleep you're not thinking also it still goes on peristalsis can you control peristalsis like peristalsis is the process um from the foot being pushed down towards your stomach can you control that mm, i don't know you can try that but for here it means you cannot control like okay? it means when you eat it will like automatically push the foot down secretion of saliva can you control it like when you smell good food like maggi me before the food arrive you start to have your own saliva can you control like you smell something good and you don't want to make the saliva come out, can you? You cannot, right? Because this is involuntary action. Or because when you're eating, the saliva automatic come out. You don't need to think, okay, saliva come out. I want to eat food already, no need, okay? It will just come out by itself. Digestion is something that you cannot control. Whatever your body absorb is is a uh, involuntary action. And blood pressure also is uh, something that we cannot control. That's why they call it involuntary action okay we cannot control it um not to be confused with reflex action that we want to learn involuntary action is some action that we cannot control how about reflex action okay and this one is uh reflex action okay so involuntary action which involves spinal cord and skeletal muscle are known as reflex Action. The impulse pathway in involuntary action or reflex action such as knee jerk is shown as diagram 1.6. So basically reflex action is a action that happens as a reflex. Okay. And for example, if I take a hammer and I beat your leg at here, then suddenly your leg will move up, correct or not? It will move up, the leg will jerk. Okay, so this one is something of, we call it involuntary action. Okay, example of involuntary action, for example, uh, we I here we already have a few examples, but here is another example of uh, the change of size pupil. Can you see the pupil or not? So let's see the pupil. A, this one is small. I put the red color. Lah. Can see or not? And the pupil is big. So obviously, if you small miss, it is a bright light. There are too much light. Like now, when you are studying, your pupil should be around like this. But when you go into a dark room, your pupil will enlarge. That's why it is a process of the pupil to control the amount of light that is entering your eye. Okay? So like for example, when you go into a dark room, you cannot see. Or not. Suddenly you go into that room, you cannot see. Then you wait for a while, wait, wait, oh, you can see already. You start to see things in your dark room. But the first time when you go inside your room, you cannot because your pupil is still very small. As you go into the darker room, your pupil slightly become enlarged, bigger, 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 then you can see. Like something like when you wake up and then you cannot open your eye. Uh, I cannot open my eye because your pupil is so big. And you need to wait a while, wait a while when your pupil becomes small, then your eye can open really or not. So it is a normal thing, okay? Normal thing like, wow, well, you see the bright light, your eye cannot open it. After a while, your eye can open due to the size of the pupil, either big or small. So we can see this one, um, set of muscle in the iris, okay? Okay, so we can see again. Um, this is the thing for dark light our pupil become big because we want to absorb more light during the high light uh, bright like now 
usually our pupil is very small. You can see your friend's eye or you can see your eye in the mirror. Okay? You can see the black dot, um, whether it is uh, big or small. It is a bit slightly difficult to see because um, outside here also got a dark ring, one, black color one. And here also got a black color one, something like that, lah, black color. Oh no, the black color is outside here already. So it's like, you know, my eye black color and inside got another darker color. So it's um, slightly difficult to see, but you can see it. You can go to the mirror and you see inside your black color eye, there is another black color pupil. Okay, so um, again, this is the process. Got the light and then go to the receptor, got the impulse, got the effector and got the response. What you notice from here is this one didn't go to the brain. Where does the brain go? You see no brain. This action carried out without going to the brain, correct or not? Because we can see there's a stimulus and then we have receptor, we have the impulse. Straight away bypassing the brain, so the brain don't have, straight away go to the effector and then the response. My hand touching hot things, very hot, then my hand move away. That's a reflect action because the action just go to the spinal cord and go back to the hand. It don't go to the brain. It just go to the body, spinal cord, and then it go to the hand, faster move away. So maybe to protect us and a faster reaction. Okay, so this is called one example of reflect action. Important of human nervous system in daily life. So we can see here is the example of sicknesses or accident for light injury of the nervous. We can see that the patient unable to carry out voluntary action or involuntary patient may be partially paralyzed. Means for example, like the leg cannot move, the hand cannot move. Severe injury, of course, it might even result in full paralyzed or even death, correct or not? Like the thing that control our Reflect action is the, we got to go to the different part of the brain, cerebrum, cerebellar, and medulla oblongata, the downside here. So if people hit your downside here, because the downside part, depends on which part they are talking about your brain. This one is for thinking. This one is for involuntary action, like your breathing. So if you hit the thinking one, you are still alive because you still can breathe. But if the breathing one is here, it destroy, then you cannot brief or cannot heartbeat cannot perform then you will die right or not so it depends on which part of the brain that is being injured okay so let's do some practice what is the human nervous system the human nervous system okay it's a system in the bo human body which function primarily as a control system in the body coordination right or not the human nervous system can be divided into two types. Still remember two types that we learned in the previous video. Name the two types of nervous system that are part of the following table. So what is the two types? Okay, so we have central nervous system and we have peripheral nervous system divided into two, brain and spinal cord and carinal nerve and spinal nerve. Question number three. What is the main function of human nervous system? Okay, so the main function of a human nervous system is to control and coordinate organ and other part of the body. Okay, to control and to coordinate organ and other part of the body so they function harmoniously and efficiently at the required time. Question number four, state the part in the sensory organ which delays, stimulate and produce nerve impulse. This is quite easy. So what is the answer? So correct, okay. So the answer is receptor. This one must know ah. This one you, you should know lah. This is a basic one. Receptor. Name the organ in the human nervous system that interpret the impulse. So this one is the brain. It's an easy question. Number five, state the part in the human body which body that produce responses. So what is this? This this one also is um uh, common uh, common question. So the answer will be effector, okay, or the muscle cell, okay, effector that make a response, right? Give two example part in the human that produce responses. Okay, so for this one will be muscle and the gland. 
Question number six, state one similarity and one difference between control action and uncontrolled action. Wow, this one is what? Hot question. Hot or not, this question. So the answer I put right here, okay, because I've got not enough space to write. Okay, so the similarity is voluntary and involuntary action are responses towards stimuli. Okay, so they are responses towards the stimuli. The differences, voluntary action is the conscious action which you need to perform with your control by brain. Involuntary action is uh, not controlled by your brain. Okay, it's spontaneous. Chin chai, chin chai. Not chin chai, chin chai la, but it's not controlled by your brain. Voluntary action is controlled by your brain. And uh, both also is uh, responses towards a certain stimuli. Let's read question number seven. Stroke, you know stroke, not the pen stroke ah, stroke or take the rotan to stroke people ah. Stroke usually cause the victim to experience partial paralysis or total paralysis. So um, explain what happened to a human nervous system as a result of stroke. We want to learn a bit about um what is a stroke. Okay, a stroke is something like your the vessel in the blood in the brain towards your brain is being interrupted. Um, there's a lot of reason now. Uh, one of the way is because of that's why it cannot be high blood pressure, cannot have high cholesterol. These two always need to be low. Because if you have high blood pressure and your cholesterol is high, the means the your pipe, uh, the water pipe is very small. You know the pipe, uh, the water pipe small and the hole is small but the water is very fast. The water is your blood. So when you when your high cholesterol and high blood pressure means the water is very fast, the blood. Of course, nothing will happen unless it break. So it start to break. Either you want to break in your heart or your body, you also will die lah. If if the heart is we call it heart attack. But if the vessel break in your brain, brain we call it a stroke. So when a stroke happen, then it will block your um oxygen from going to birth to your brain and usually it depends on either you're paralyzed or the person will um, result death so i put the answer here because i do not have enough space so we can see that um, stroke attacks usually injured the nervous system of its victim so clear not there's no oxygen to your brain because the it's already interrupted the oxygen flow to your brain and injured nervous system causes the victim to be partially or completely paralyzed okay final question state the part of human nervous system that usually jeopardized as a result of stroke so stroke will happen uh, where does stroke will happen so the answer as i say is happen on the brain okay so stroke is means there's a blockage of the blood flow to your brain so that's it for this video and i hope to see you next time thank you and bye bye